Excavation Sufficient material should be excavated to accommodate the drainage channel, concrete bedding and hornshing. Any soft spots or poorly compacted formation should be made good. Setting out The top of the paved drain should be 5mm below the finished pavement surface. It may be advantageous to use setting out pins and string lines to achieve the desired level for the channels. Outfalls Paved drain outfalls should be installed first. Sufficient material should be excavated to accommodate the trapped outfall units. 150mm of C20-25 mix BS8500-1 and 2 concrete is placed in the bottom of the excavation. The bottom section of the two-part outfall is lowered into position. Sufficient M-Flex sealant is gunned onto the top horizontal surface of the bottom section of the two-part outfall so as to provide a seal between the top and bottom sections. The top section of the two-part outfall is lowered into position. The bedding concrete should be laid and brought up level with the underside of the pavement bedding course. The access cover and frame units should be set directly onto a 10mm bed of mortar with mortar class 12 to BSEN 998-2-2003 along each side of the outfall unit. Base unit, channel installation. Bedding concrete C20-25 to BS8500-1 and 2 of the appropriate thickness and depth shall be laid. Channels should be laid onto the freshly mixed bedding concrete, starting at the outfall, i.e. working uphill. Channel ends should abut as tightly as possible. Alternatively, the channels may be bedded onto a layer of 10 to 40 mm cement mortar, M12 mortar to BSEN 998-2 on a previously prepared concrete foundation. Where cutting is necessary, channels should be cut so that no single unit is less than 350 mm in length using a concrete saw or disc cutter. Channel joint sealant. Jointing of channels shall occur prior to the fixing of the grating. A bead of M-Flex sealant should be gunned into the groove formed when adjacent channels are put. Surplus sealant shall be removed from the inner surface of the units as work proceeds. Top block, top unit, grating installation. The string line should be set to the level of the top corner of units. Again, starting at the outfall, the units should be set directly onto a 10 to 25 mm bed of mortar to mortar class 1-2 BSEN 998-2-2003. The top blocks should be tamped into position close to previously laid units and the alignment checked. The levels should be checked using the string line and a spirit level. In addition, the general alignment should be checked from all directions as each block is laid. Any unit deviating by more than 3 mm in 3 m from line and level should be made good by lifting and relaying. The joints between adjacent top units are dry and units should be laid hand tight to achieve either a 6 mm or 12 mm opening as detailed on the drawing. Where cutting is necessary, one or two units shall be cut so that no single unit is less than 200 mm in length. All cutting and trimming of the units shall be carried out with a concrete saw or disc cutter. Paved drain end caps. Where the paved drain run does not terminate at an outfall, the base unit shall be sealed using the correct sized paved drain end cap. The end cap shall be securely placed against the vertical end of the base unit and haunched with fresh concrete, C25-30 mix to BS8500-1 and 2.